The future for 3D animation, graphic designing and indie game development or indie short film development is looking very bright. And it's primarily because of two softwares, the Unreal Engine and the Blender. These two softwares are completely free and still provide us with top of the line animation tools, add-ons and assets that could really work well in your short film projects or in your indie game development projects. And so in today's video, we are going to talk about how Unreal Engine and Blender are going to dominate the 3D industry in the future and it's probably for the betterment of us individual artists and freelancers. So without any further ado, let's begin. The very biggest advantage that us indie developers and artists get is that these softwares are exceptionally fast. And I'm not talking about the, just their speed. They are no slouch when it comes down to rendering performance as well as handling the viewport. When it comes down to Unreal Engine, it's extremely fast with its lumen capability and ray tracing to give us the highest possible quality of animation is the fastest time possible. Whereas when we talk about Blender, it's an extremely exceptional software in terms of handling high poly models and high level of sculpting with ease. Now this is very huge because when we talk about actual rendering performance, usually Nvidia graphics cards are very fast but they are also expensive. Whereas AMD graphics cards, while they don't have a lot of raw rendering performance, they do give us enough VRAM. And here is where the actual advantage lies. You can actually make a budget build of a 3060 16GB version or just get an AMD graphics cards and both of these things will work just fine with Blender and Unreal Engine because these two softwares rely a lot more on your VRAM than the raw rendering performance. Keep in mind that we are not rendering the final animation in Blender, we are ideally doing that in Unreal Engine. And for that, Unreal Engine is exceptionally good because Unreal Engine demands more VRAM rather than raw rendering performance. These type of exceptional speeds at even mediocre to low level hardware are extremely good. Just one thing has to be kept in mind is that you do need enough VRAM. And so if you're ever building a PC for graphic designing or animation and you are going to use these two softwares, then you have to keep in mind that VRAM should be your priority. So you can actually go with an AMD card. And the rendering performance between an AMD card and Nvidia card are different, but if you are rendering both of them in Unreal Engine, then you will get somewhat of a similar result. And even if the result is different drastically, Usually the speed of rendering in Unreal is so fast that it doesn't matter. If you are going to render out the same animation in 3 minutes versus 4 minutes, it's not going to make a big difference. Yes, on paper that's a big difference, but at the same time, Unreal is usually so fast that you don't really need to worry about the rendering time, especially if you have optimized your scenery well. And so yeah, the speed is the biggest advantage that these two softwares comes with. I think another reason why these two softwares are going to dominate in the future is that they are giving us continuous updates and support for the 3D software. And this is exceptional because in today's world, actually, most of the Adobe Suite and the other softwares such as 3ds Max, Maya, or even Houdini are kind of getting slow in terms of giving us frequent updates, whereas Blender and Unreal Engine are completely killing it in the game. When we talk about Blender, with its release of 4.0, we actually got a lot of exceptional features and I'm actually till date I'm using only Blender 4.0. Yes, there have been updates past that point, but I have never felt the need to move to a higher version of Blender yet just yet. With that said, Blender is continuously giving us exceptionally good updates and also the community itself. When we talk about the community of both Blender and Unreal Engine, there are continuously assets being uploaded, add-ons being given out for free, and those are exceptionally well. I mean, recently there was an add-on added to the Blender where you can pretty much make Blender like a Substance Painter 3D texturing software, and that is exceptionally powerful. And Unreal Engine is doing pretty much the same thing. With the recent release of Unreal Engine 5.6, Unreal Engine completely changed the visual effects and pipeline of the visual production forever. Unreal Engine 5.6 is exceptionally powerful in terms of handling physics, dynamics and visual effects and it's really good that these two softwares are continuously updating while the other softwares which cost like exceptional amounts of money still don't give you enough updates. So yeah, this is I think one of the biggest reasons is because these two softwares are completely continuously trying to thrive to be better while other softwares are kind of slouching at the moment. 
Now another thing that makes these two softwares powerful is the fact that they work really well together. In terms of weight painting or rigging or anything, you can do that within Blender and then easily export that into Unreal Engine and it's exceptionally seamless. You don't have to worry about a lot of troubleshooting. Mostly, yes there are some problems that could occur but at the same time these two softwares go very well together. You can make high quality simulations within Blender and then export them as Alembic formats into Unreal and you can get exceptional realism within Unreal with the help of Blender. And so, when you really look at these two tools, you can see that in the future, while they might be each other's competition as well, they're also pretty much a cooperative team. And I think for us artists, it really matters that what we do with these softwares. And in the end of the day, us 3D artists can use both of these softwares to their strengths and actually get the most out of our animations and projects. So with that said, I would like to end this video. In my opinion, these two softwares have exceptional potential. They have been showing that so far and I think they are not going to be far behind than the actual industry standard softwares. If anything, these softwares are going to show us within a few next years that they are going to be the next industry standard. So with that said, I would like to conclude the video and I hope you guys have a good one.